was gonna do a whole YouTube video on this, but I feel like it'd just be really repetitive. So I've just been thinking how literally nothing is trending right now because everything is trending in the fashion world. I think we're just going through trends so freakishly fast that in the past five years, every single thing has been trendy. I was gonna do a whole YouTube video on this. Don't worry, Lainey, I will. <laughs> Probably one of the biggest reasons I love fashion is the anthropology that comes along with being a consumer of the art form. Anthropology, or the study of human societies and cultures and how they interact within various cultural subcategories. Not the store. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> in fashion, there seems to be a distinct paradox taking place in and around this idea of fashion trends. I have wanted to talk about this for such a long time. There's two huge problems you're probably participating in if you're interested in fashion. Elitism that is present in fashion should be kept up to some degree. I'm calling it right now. These shoes are about to be everywhere. In Graveyard, all the biggest, cringiest, most overplayed, dying trends. This is a trend that I think that I'm gonna say that I hate. Today's video is sponsored by luxury streetwear brand Represent. They sent over a ton of great new items, so I thought it would be fun to do a little pickups video for the ad read. I've been a big fan of Represent for quite some time now, and starting off, they sent over two pairs of sneakers. On the left, we have a pair of Represent Raptor Lows in this beautiful coffee wheat colorway, and on the right, we have the Apexes in an all-white stone colorway. This is what they look like on feet, and I've always been a huge fan of these these models, in particular the Reptor Lows from Represent. Next, we have this beautiful wool knit sweater, also in the wheat colorway. This will just be perfect for the fall. If you don't know, Represent tends to go all out when it comes to their graphics, and this racing team eagle tee is no exception. And last but not least, we have this new era initial cap, which is a perfect accessory to bring together an outfit. To shop these items and more, there'll be a link down in the description. Thank you for the support on the channel. Okay. So where was I? From my vantage point, there are three distinct ways to look at the modern fashion trend cycle. The good, the bad, and the ugly truth. Let's begin with the bad. The world we live in today moves fast. I mean, really fast. One day, everyone seems to care about NFTs and the metaverse. And the next day, the focus shifts to authentic social media experiences like Be Real and Vero. And if I just mentioned four things that you have no idea about, it's okay, it's just more evidence that the world is moving really fast and that you are maybe being left behind. <laughs> but this fast paced nature of culture is in direct correlation with the fashion industry. Fashion moves so fast in today's age. From micro trends to micro micro trends, there seems to be a new aesthetic and a new mood board birthed every single day. But why is this? Why, 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 why? Wow. Yeah. In fashion specifically, a lot of people point to TikTok as being the prime culprit for this extreme speed. Arcanine, use extreme speed. <laughs> extreme speed. Wait. Wait. And for me, if I were to just tell you I think it's TikTok as well and in the video, that would be kind of anticlimactic and boring. I do think TikTok does play a major role into this ultra fast movement of trend cycles from week to week, month to month, and sometimes day to day. But allow me to introduce a new idea to the meta that I've been thinking about for the last couple of days. I think the reason why fashion moves so fast is because in 2022, there are literally 10 times the amount of quote-unquote personalities than there was in 1970. Let me explain. In the US, for example, in 1970, there were 203 million people. Today in the US, there are approximately 330 million people or a 40% increase from 50 years ago. Why does that matter? Why? It matters because that means there are over 100 million more perspectives now than there were back in 1970. And with those perspectives bring individual ideas, 
characteristics and personalities. And in my opinion, the more people, the more opinions you add to the equation of culture and style within fashion, the more variability there is. And therefore, the more distinctions there are in the fashion world. From hip hop culture to K-pop culture and everything in between and on the outskirts, there is so much to choose from in the year 2022. And as a result, so many variations of trends are taking place amongst these various sub cultures and subgroups. Now, what is the bad? Because I view that as being something that's quite awesome and beautiful. In my opinion, the bad of this very fast trend cycle is the overproduction of clothing. The more clothes that are produced subsequently means more waste also is produced, harming the environment and our ecosystems, which is awful. And it seems like with the world we're living in right now, with so many different variations of trends week to week, month to month, there will only be an increase in clothing production as opposed to a decrease in clothing production. Now for the good. I think from the ideological standpoint of unique individualism, the variety of fashion trends means that ideally we can all dress and develop our own unique personal styles, ideally. And I think that's really cool. When you look back on 19th and 20th century societies, most people who quote unquote dress well within those societies are the ultra rich and ultra wealthy. But when you fast forward to today's age, while a lot of the best dressed individuals are still wealthy, we all can participate in fashion in our own way, which I think is really beautiful. Whether you wear Dickies 874s or own Plisse Issey Miyake trousers, you can feel good about your decision. One last point for the good is the introduction to fashion. I was introduced to fashion in the era of hype, Supreme Box logos, V-Loan controversies, Virgil Abloh, Kanye West, Jerry Lorenzo, etc, etc, etc. And maybe you were introduced to fashion in this way too. Well, I hate to break it to you, but these were all trends. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to get out about the good of fashion trends is that they're kind of similar to the smell of cinnamon rolls on a cold, wet, rainy day. They draw you in. They're alluring. And whether or not you decide to eat that particular cinnamon roll on that day or decide to eat it every day for the rest of your life, that's what trends are. They make you curious about that smell, that thing that you can't explain that makes you interested in something. Take a moment, comment down below what you think the ugly truth is about the modern fashion trend cycle. I will compare my perspective and your perspective at the conclusion of this video. In my opinion, the ugly truth of fashion trends and the fashion industry is that a lot of times these brands attempt to sell you on the idea that either your style or the products you have aren't enough. The fashion industry, like the tech industry or the car industry, are industries that are constantly quote unquote improving year over year. It means that they try to sell you on the idea that what we did in 2017 is subjectively worse than what we're doing in 2021. And on and on and on. When will enough be enough? And do I really need another pair of shoes, jackets, shirts, hoodies, hats, pants. The fashion industry always says, yes, you do. And they'll always try to convince you that you need and should want to acquire more. Let's take it a step further. If you consider yourself to be a fashion MF or a John's enthusiast or someone who's just a fan of fashion, two names that I've called myself in the past, it's kind of akin to being a dog that gets into its own bag of food. The dog, once it gets into the bag of bones or whatever it is, it never stops eating. <laughs> okay, Drew, what is this analogy? Let's bring it home here. My point is, is that with fashion and the dog that gets into its own food, they'll never stop. If you're a John's enthusiast, if you're a fashion MF, you'll continue to consume it. Real question. How many Johns can you enthusiasts? And if your clothing is only for self-aggrandizing purposes, that's the ugly truth of fashion and fashion trends. Now, I don't want to pretend like I'm on some kind of moral high ground when making this video. These are all just ideas. And if it kind of struck you the wrong way, 
I want to apologize. I don't want to come at you. This video and this channel is about spreading new ideas and having conversations in and around fashion. If you know me, I'm a positive guy. I'm a pretty positive emitting guy. And I don't want to bring your day down or try to say anything that's out of pocket. So as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll be on to peace. <laughs> Yo, what is good post vivid? Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. You know how we get down fist bump for the one time. Bop. I appreciate you so much. You know how we get down two, three times. Let's go. Bop. Bop. I appreciate you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. This one was a fun one to script out and just make. But if I am going to be honest, I do think I botched the delivery, especially at the end. And I have a long way to go as someone who wants to be taken seriously as a video creator and a fashion commentator here on the internet. On the internet. See, I can't even talk. When I was scripting this, I was getting so excited. The delivery, I was kind of botchy. Sometimes when I make these videos, like... It takes a little bit of extra, like, I don't know, like, sometimes I'm not in the talkative mood, so, like, I make a lot of mistakes, but hopefully you didn't notice too many. The question for the post vid vid today is, what is your favorite animated movie? Like, Disney, Pixar, or whatever. I have here, I have Shrek, was one of my favorites as a kid. Love Shrek, the ogre. I have Toy Story, classic. If you haven't watched Toy Story, I know someone probably hasn't watched Toy Story. That movie's amazing. Um, Inside Out is more of like a recent one by Pixar, I believe. So good. And then one that I just, oh man, as a kid, like as a Colorado kid, like I watched this movie called Spirit. It's about horses. And like it reminded me of like my home, the Rocky Mountains. So comment down below your favorite animated movies. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.